assalamu alaikum in the name of allah the most gracious the most merciful i am muhammad yasin this is virtual class of pakistan international school taif this class is for the students of grade 10 we are going to do chapter 13 today and this is our 26th video in this class in our today's lesson we shall discuss two essays one is the patriotism and the other is kaidyasam we shall learn to write an application to the principal to get access to electronic library we shall learn to answer the questions of uh, comprehension paragraph and dear students this is the list of the essays that is given by federal board uh we have done my aim in life as i told you you can write my ambition if you want to change that that is okay we have done overpopulation we are going to do patriotism today uh village life we have done beauties of village life don't mention negative things positive things can be highlighted to write this exactly as it is mentioned beauties of village life we have done village life you can write the same we shall do patriotism today and uh, we shall do my ideal personality uh, we shall write today the essay about qaidiyazam muhammad ali jana you can write the same if you are set to write qaidiyazam and you can write the same if you are set to write my ideal personality uh this is patriotism dear students i have taken most of the content from your 9th class lesson <clears throat> you have read that lesson to complete the essay this content uh, to me looked very well that is why i have taken the same most of the things uh, you have done before it will be easy for you to prepare also For example here is mentioned patriotism means love for the motherland or devotion to one's country patriotism patriot patriot loves his country and is willing to sacrifice when the need arises the word patriot comes from the latin uh, which means countryman it is considered a commendable quantity patriotism gives people the strength and courage to safeguard the interest of the country and nation for a patriot the sovereignty integrity and honor of the country are supreme values on which no compromise can be made dear students you can see the content is uh, of a good standard to write an essay about patriotism this is the second part uh Qaidiyazam Muhammad Ali Jinnah was a nation builder and a great patriot. Yes, he wanted to protect the values, culture and tradition of the Muslims of the subcontinent. This is patriotism, not Qaidiyazam. This essay is not Qaidiyazam. Uh, we have mentioned here about Qaidiyazam. How was he? Was he a patriot? But the essay is patriotism. He gave the Muslims a sense of identity. by securing a separate homeland for them you can read it in detail simple things are mentioned uh, nishane hader the highest military award uh, given to great patriots who lay down their lives for the country yes it is mentioned here about the wars of 1965 and 71 also Uh, this is the third part of the essay patriotism patriotism therefore is not just a feeling it is a life spirit patriotism is a life spirit that continuously inspires and guides a nation it guides a nation to pay the taxes obey the laws help the people of their own homeland and get ready to sacrifice for the country a nation having spirit of patriotism can never be defeated by any other nation 
yes students this is the end of the essay patriotism you can add in it you can leave from it most of the content is taken from your ninth class book to me it looked very well for you to write because you are familiar uh, with the whole content let us move forward next essay is my ideal personality you can write about holy prophet peace be upon him you can write about qaid azam allama iqbal sir sayyid ahmed khan or any other personality whom you like the best i have written here about qaid azam muhammad ali jinnah and this is the essay which you have prepared so many times before i think in each class you prepared this essay and very common thing is when you write an essay about a personality you write about uh, his education early education higher education professional life political life and that is the end for example if we look at this essay The bright star of the history of Pakistan is Muhammad Ali Jinnah. It was the will of Allah that physical weakling son of Punja Jinnah would one day be the founder of Pakistan. He was born in Karachi. After his matriculation, can you see here we are writing about his education. After that, he was an ardent supporter of the Hindu Muslim unity. We have started here about his political life he inspired the muslims of india with his glorious vision he worked hard for a separate homeland for the muslims the odds were against him odds mean circumstances the hindus the british and section of the muslims were hostile to him they did not like him but he grappled with every problem his aim was high he soared like an eagle he organized the party the muslim rallied round him the hostile forces had to beat or retreat this is the third part of this essay on 14th august 1947 was the day of his triumph his success Pakistan appeared on the map of the world he took oath of office as the first governor general of the new country Muhammad Ali Jinnah was qaid azam in the true sense of the word his health had been breaking down under a heavy pressure of work he died in Karachi on September dear students this is the essay as i told you before it can be there in your exam as qaid azam and my favorite personality also in both cases you can write this one uh, and you can write uh, any other which you prepare for yourself dear students here in the lessons it is important to understand the context i tell you before also when we are doing anything here in the lesson we are not preparing that one only we are preparing everything in that category for example here we are going to write an application to the principal to get access to electronic library it can be simple library also it can be library of your school also it can be a public library also it can be a library of any other school also whatever the situation is if you have prepared this application you should be able to write any other application to get access to the library this is the thing that i want to tell you here you are preparing the application to get access to electronic library and if there is in the examination to get access to library you will say no i have learned the application to get electronic library i cannot write this application will it be okay no prepare yourself to change the content accordingly prepare yourself to change the learned content accordingly according to the situation according to the question then you will be successful otherwise no 
even a single application to get access to library can be of 10 types. As I told you, it can be to get access to your school library, to get access to your school library in the evening, to get access to public library, to get access to public electronic library, to get access to city library. Will you learn all of these applications? No, you will learn one application only and you will learn to change the content according to the requirement. This is the thing I want to prepare you. Okay. I consider here that there is a, an electronic library in Taif that is public library established by the government and we are requesting to the principal to make some suitable arrangement to get access to the whole school to that library. What will be there in fact in electronic library you know very well you need a username and password to get access to that electronic library. We are going to request our principal to write a letter to the management of the library to give us access to that library. How it will be written? First of all you are very well aware we shall write the principal Pakistan International School Thaif. In fact, we are requesting the principal of our school. He will request then to the management of that library. We are not writing to the library. We are writing to our principal. And we are writing uh, to request him to write a letter to the management of that library. We shall write here to the principal Pakistan International School Taif subject is access to Taif electronic public library that is anywhere in Taif. With due respect it is stated that we have read all the books available in our school library related to our class. Yes we are in class 10 and we have read everything related to our class that is available in the library. In our library for us there is nothing to read now. We are saying like that. I, on behalf of my class 10, request you to make arrangement to get access to Taif Electronic Public Library. Yes, that is there in Salama. Okay. This is located in city center. A single letter from your office to the management of the library can help us to get access to this library. Most of the schools have already got access to this library. Here is written caught that is written by mistake it is written. You will write here got G O T got access to this library. We shall be very thankful to you for this act of kindness. Yours obediently students of class 10 here will be date. Dear students have you got the context the situation what is going on here? In your examination, you can be said to write an application to get access to any library, public library, electronic library, to the library of your own school in the evening. Whatever the question is, try to change this content according to the library, according to the question, I'm sorry. Then that will be your success. You cannot prepare each and everything according to the requirement of the question. What you can do? You can do is you can change the learned content according to the requirement of the question. That will be your success. Okay, after this here is the paragraph. Again, there are some paragraphs given in your grammar book. We have done so many before. This is uh, paragraph 6 that is uh, on page number 40 of your grammar book. Uh, for example, I shall read it then we shall try to answer the questions. Some arts are social insects. It means that they live in societies, cooperate with one another and do only the work assigned to them. 
they go out in search of food in an orderly fashion yes marching in lines and columns like soldiers different groups of social ants have different jobs to do they manage their affairs through division of labor yes they divide the work some ants guard and protect their community they fight the other insects who attack them or raid their colony they are called soldier ants another group gathers food for the whole community the social ants have not learned this division of labor they have inherited it they have inherited it by nature they know these things they they have not learned from anywhere other this is the part of their nature when they are born they are learned already learned okay and dear students according to the pattern of this question we find two questions first then one question of one mark then one question of five marks what are social arts in the beginning you can see social arts are the ones who cooperate with one another and do only the work assigned to them they go out in search of food in an orderly fashion up to here you can write the answer of first question what are soldier arts soldier arts are the arts that fight the other insects who attack them and raid their colony yes they are called soldier arts uh give a suitable title what will be the title if you read the paragraph you can understand it very well it is about social arts social insects it is about social insects what can be the title of this paragraph the best title of this paragraph will be social insects social insects okay after that you are said to make a precise of the given passage you can uh, underline the main points as i told you before then write a paragraph uh, your paragraph should be half in length of the given paragraph that will be the precise of the given passage yes students we are uh, going to do the exercises of chapter 13 this is the detail that is given in your board Uh, examination board has uh, given you instructions about chapter 4 13 to do you will do reading comprehension given on page 154 in grammar you will do conditional sentences compound and complex sentences and you will do glossary and vocabulary also uh, other than this you will not do anything you can leave everything other than the mentioned here the things to do are mentioned here we shall do these ones only first of all if we start from the vocabulary we are said to in danger is a verb from danger write down five verbs with the prefix n and use these words in sentences for example enable is a word if we want to use it in sentence it will become hard work enabled him to get success enrich encourage engage enjoy you can use all of these in sentences as they are given here so simple sentences are made here you can understand each one very easily this is exercise b in this exercise we are said to give the meaning of the following phrasal verbs and use these phrasal verbs in sentences for example with all my strength means with full power if we use it in sentence it will become i threw the stone with all my strength to call to account means ask for explanation ali was called to account for his absence to hand over means give to someone ali will hand over the book to his friend yes students Uh, this is the next part of the same exercise as usual means happening in the same way its sentence will be as usual ali was late from school today uh, no sign of means no indication of his face is showing no signs of anger 
to have its course means to have its way the law always has its course yes students we have completed exercise b and this is uh, exercise c of vocabulary section here we are said to use the following in sentences as verbs and nouns for example fall fall is the given word and we are said to use it as a noun first of all then as a verb if we use it as a noun we shall write she had a bad fall and broke her arm she had a bad fall this fall is noun bad is adjective leaves fall this fall is verb leaves the fall in september try to understand what is noun and verb noun is the name of anything verb is that tell us about an action leaves fall this fall is telling us when the leaves fell down yes this fall is verb bad fall this fall is the process of falling this is the name of the process lead our team got a lead lead means more score of 10 runs yes this is noun ali will lead this lead is verb control amir has no control this is noun amir will try to control this is verb this grant this grant grant is noun the principal granted him no leave this granted is a verb stand asif is repairing a broken stand this stand is something on which we put things and this stand is noun the old man could not stand on the bus could not stand this stand is a verb his mind is upset this upset is noun i think he would not mind my joke sorry this mind is noun and this mind is verb his demand is increasing yes this demand is noun name of something he would not demand this demand is verb this is used with helping verb yes students i think you have got the idea that a word can be used as a noun and it can be used as a verb also yes students we have come to the next section that is comprehension reading comprehension comprehension means understanding reading comprehension means this section is given to check your reading comprehension it is the test that you understand by reading or not For example the first question is given what case did the young man bring to Hazrat Umar Farooq رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ The young man holding a strong and sturdy countryman appeared before Hazrat Umar they complained to him that the person had murdered their old father they demanded justice by punishing the murderer for his crime yes do you understand what was the case the question is what case did the young man bring to hazrat umar what was the case the case was that the young man brought a country man and said he has killed our old father we want justice by punishing the murderer for his crime this was the case let us move to the question number 2 Why did the old man hurl a stone at the camel? Yes, the old man who has died now, he was killed by the countryman. In fact, first of all, he hurl he threw a stone on the head of the camel. Why he threw the stone on the head of the camel? The old man hurled a stone at the camel because the camel nipped a few leaves off the hanging branch of his tree when the villager was halting halting means taking rest 
when the villager was taking rest his camel ate a few leaves from the branch of a tree of the old man's garden that is why the old man picked up a stone and hurled it through powerfully on the head of the camel as a result of which the camel died yes camel is animal it looks so big but if something hit on his head powerfully it will die okay yes students let us move forward to question number 3 why did the villager ask hazrat umar farooq to delay the execution yes students in the court of hazrat umar farooq when uh, hazrat umar farooq sentenced him to death the villager requested to delay the execution for 3 days why why he requested to delay the execution this is the question in fact the answer is the villager asked hazrat umar farooq to delay the execution to hand over his younger brother's gold to a trustee trustee is the person whom we trust which his father at his death left for his younger brother who was too young to be told about the gold yes students the villager requested to delay the execution because he wanted to hand over the gold of his younger brother to anyone other who could give him later yes this is the answer question number 4 is on what condition was the criminal allowed to leave yes court cannot allow a criminal to leave the court unless or until there is strong surety guarantee that he will come back here the question is what was the condition on which the criminal was allowed to go the criminal was allowed to leave on condition of providing a surety and what was the surety hazrat abu zar ghafari agreed to stand as surety and said that he will be willing to suffer death if the criminal fails to return hazrat abu zar ghafari said i shall uh, be ready to give my life if the criminal does not come yes students this is the sacrifice question number 4 is why were sahabas worried yes sahabas were worried about the fate and safety of hazrat abu zar ghafari when only an hour remained but the criminal did not come and both accusers demanded their man both of the villagers were asking for the criminal and hazrat abu zar ghafari was standing out there only one hour was left that is why all the sahabas were worried what would happen question number 6 is why did the accusers forgive the villager the accusers forgave the villagers villager at his honesty and faithfulness according to them forgiveness is a divine act yes students when he came back and he offered his life he said i am ready i am ready to be executed you can execute me now and the villagers forgave him and said forgiveness is a divine act uh, we forgive we forgive him yes students that is uh, the reading comprehension section that we have completed in your homework you will learn and write the essays two at essays one is patriotism and the other is qaidiyazm that is my ideal personality also uh, after that you will learn and write the application to get access to electronic library after that dear students you will do comprehension paragraphs from 7 to 10 we did paragraph number 6 in our lesson today and then you will do in your homework from 7 to 10 they are given at page 40 after that you will do exercises of unit 13 that we have done today especially comprehension comprehension section that is the most important 
uh, okay dear students that is all from our today's lesson see you later in another lesson goodbye